3 a.m. It's a party in my hotel. Yeah. Baby, just me and you in my hotel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I got my virgin hair in finally, and I'm loving it. This video is gonna be about um installation what the hair feels like so far and i'll also do a video a couple of weeks later to see how the hair really held up this is beauty forever hair proven body wave 18 inch 22 inch and 24 inch 18 inch frontal and two bundles and if you are interested to see how i got my hair to look like this then keep watching okay so bearing in mind i um not an expert of laying frontals with got to be glue this is my second time doing so and i've just done the best i can something that looks decent and will get me through the day i'm just gonna spray the curl just a little bit using the pantan eye shine hairspray okay so this is the gorgeous, gorgeous virgin hair. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've got virgin hair back. I've missed it so much. Not to say synthetic hair isn't great, but let's face it, it's more of a short-term thing. Virgin hair, it's expensive, but it's worth it. It will last you long-term. Um, synthetic hair will get rough over time. Um, it looks good for first couple weeks, but then it's a lot of work um, to maintain it. Whether it's this, it will keep going, and all you need to do is wash it to revive it, and it's good as new again. But anyway, my cousin, well, I call her my sister, uh, she got married last week. Congratulations again, Ebony and JK. And I was one of the bridesmaids along with my sister. One of the requests were that the bridesmaids wear an updo style. So I thought, what will allow me to have an updo um, that won't be affected by weather conditions? Hmm, 360 frontals. So last week, myself, my mum and my sister, we all got our 360 frontals done. That's better. Myself, my mum and my sister, we went to get our 360 weaves done. I got a 360 weave, they got 360 wigs. So the hair was sewn onto a wig and the wig was then sewn onto their hair. I kind of wish I did that so that I'd have a wig that I could always fall back on. Um, however, haven't completely lost out because at least I can reuse the bundles. So we went to Daydream Hair and Beauty Salon in West Bromwich, Birmingham, uh, on Ball Street. I'll put her details below, her Instagram link, so you can check her out, check out her work. She is amazing at what she does. She is perfection when it comes to laying down lace funnels. Uh, so much so, she's even done uh, ce celebrity celebrities. She's done a few reality TV, UK reality TV stars. Uh, she's done their hair as well. They've come to the salon. Um, she's even done one of my favorite YouTubers. She, she goes there regularly, actually. Chantanea Beckford. She goes to that salon as well. She's worked wonders with her hair. Um, yeah, I was there from like nine o'clock, finished around 12. Mum and Crystal's. Theirs took uh, less time than mine because it was on a wig, uh, but she's fast, she's she's everything. She makes sure that everything is perfected and you're happy with your style. In terms of customising, she does that to a T. Um, this is when I left the salon. This is how she styled my hair. Um, this was on the night of the pre-wedding party sort of thing and I was so happy I felt amazing I haven't felt like that in a long time so anyway in terms of the hair please watch my first video I've done an unboxing of this hair and I got it from beauty forever I will put the link down below and I'll put the specs 
of this hair in the description box. I'm wearing an 18 inch 360 frontal and two bundles, 22 inch and 24 inch. So yeah, you just need two bundles and a 360 frontal if you're doing a style like this. For the actual wedding, I we wore them in up styles. I styled my mom's hair, my sister's hair, and I styled my own hair, wore them in these, you know, like just a simple bun, but I made it look a bit fancy, um, as you can see here. The hair looks so natural. We had so many people asking us about our hair. Um, we were so, so, so impressed. Also, if you're wondering about our makeup, we got it done by an amazing makeup artist called Racy. She is great. I will link her details down below. She is such a fun personality. She's fun to be around. She is really talented. She works with you. She asks you, you know, how you like things. She was just perfect. I don't really trust others with my makeup. I tend to do other people's makeup. Um, but I put my trust in her on the wedding day and she did a fabulous job not only for me my mom my sister my auntie my grand aunt she did an amazing job um she also goes to daydream salon now and again um and they kind of do like a collaboration daydream will do the hair and she will do the makeup which is amazing as well so please check them out so yeah 18 inch 360 frontal 22 inch and 24 inch bundle and this is Peruvian Body Wave from Beauty Forever. I was really shocked with the shipping. It only took a week for it to get here. Usually, this is a China-based company. And um, I've ordered from China-based companies before. And it's taken a lot longer to get to me. Um, so, yeah, from China to the UK, a week. I was really impressed with that. I was looking for affordable hair, good quality. And... So far, so good. I feel that's what I've got. The hair is silky, soft, no funny smells, hardly any tangling, hardly had to do anything. Um, it's just gorgeous. The frontal was amazing. Daydream asked me actually where I got my frontal from. I said Beauty Forever um, and the hair. Um, she loves Beauty Forever frontals because she said the lace quality is great. It's easy to work with, especially when, when she's customising, which includes bleaching, tweezing or plucking. Um, and also the fact that Shantania Beckford uses Beauty Forever hair, that filled me with confidence as well. Um, but yeah, so far so good. It's been a week since I've had the hair in. Well, actually over a week. Got it done last Thursday and today is Friday. Now, I know it's easy to say, oh, this hair's gorgeous because I've only had it in for a week. But don't worry, I'll be doing another review a few weeks later to see how the hair really held up. The hair was around £160. Um, as I said, really affordable. Now, if this hair does hold up, we shall see. But if it does hold up, I think I may change from Wow African to Beauty Forever. Nothing's wrong with Wow African at all. I've used them for about two to three years. It's just the um, shipping times and I find that eventually over time the hair does change. Um, it lasts me for a while. Don't get me wrong, but it does change, it does shred, it does get, you know, the lengths. By the time I'm on my last use of the hair, it's gone from like a 24 inch to a 16 inch. Um, yeah, so the hair does shed a lot. There was hair everywhere in my house. Um, I don't know if it's because I dye the bundles black. Maybe that changed the hair, but it shouldn't do. With this, I haven't dyed it, left it in its natural state. So maybe that's why, you know, um, the hair has held up so far. I don't know. I didn't have much time to um, dye the hair with all the washing around, around the wedding, etc. So I just left it in its natural state, which is different for me. Um, don't hate it, but don't love it. If I could, I would make this hair a bit darker. But anyway, yeah, so nothing wrong with African hair. just found that, you know, there was a lot of shredding. A lot of shredding. And also, because of the prices, 
I would only buy Indian hair and I've heard Indian hair is like the cheapest in terms of the virgin hair hierarchy. Don't know if it's because of that. Whereas with Beauty Forever hair, the hair is so affordable that I could afford Peruvian, which is my favorite virgin hair anyway. Um, yeah, it was so affordable that it's allowed me to do so. Peruvian is maybe around like the middle, I think in the virgin hair hierarchy, towards the middle top, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, maybe this is why the hair is so silky and gorgeous. I love Peruvian hair. It was the first virgin hair I ever wore. Um, so yeah, this is the fun tour. Haven't laid baby hairs as I wanted. I'd usually do the swells, but I'm definitely, definitely in a rush today. I use the Got To Be Glue freezing spray. And I use the Got To Be Glue um styling gel for edges the black one now some people say the black one's better some people say the yellow one's better i wouldn't really know i guess it's a preference you i usually use the glue and then i spray the freezing spray i flatten the lace frontal on it and then i will tie a scarf around it leave it for about 20 minutes the least um an hour hour and a half at the most the longer i leave it tied down the better the result so this is what I'm using at the moment. Gotta say, in terms of the whole 360 front or life, I think this might be my first and last time. The maintenance, it is so much to deal with. Um, when I lay down my 360, it lasts me about two days, three days at a push, but then you'll start seeing the lifting of the lace. Um, so to keep gluing every day, you know, it's just too much for me. Whereas when I had closures, I know I can't really wear the hair up, but at least I wasn't gluing every single day. It was just sewn down. That's it. Got it done every two to three months. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm using. What it looks like. Once you put the hair in a ponytail and you tease out the baby hairs, not sure where they are at the moment, but they are there somewhere. Um, so yeah, this is what it would be like in a ponytail, as you can see, looks quite natural, parting's natural. This is a short and sweet video just telling you what it's like with the hair actually installed and I will definitely do another video a few weeks later to see how the hair really held up. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if it was very informative, then please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I am a hair fanatic. I love hair. I love makeup. And if you love hair and if you love makeup, please subscribe to my channel and we can enjoy this hair and makeup journey together. Have a beautiful day, guys. I'm about to go to work. But thank God it's Friday. I will see you on my next video. Bye.